is the metaverse dropping? I hear that question all the time. What is the metaverse? This is a metaverse. There's NFTs attached to them. Putting this under AR or VR, what is the metaverse? Websites, people that are creative, it's empowering them to do it. Makes it 3D, like how I do like digital art, NFT, like exposure therapy, universal identity, computers running all the time, processing all this information, storing it, it's cheaper too. Stuff in VR, that's like slowly like coming up. I'm Salvi, I work here, I work with Cam. I make websites, I do stuff in VR, I do stuff in augmented reality, like I make stuff in 3D, like I, I do like digital art. Metaverse, Metaverse is here. You've probably already like taken part of it like in some way. The Metaverse has been around for a while and it's free and open to anyone. The, the word like meta, like the root word, just means like something addressing itself or like something within itself. So the metaverse is just like a universe within a universe. Now, virtual reality, which is like you access it through one of these. There are 171 million VR users worldwide. It's becoming more and more accessible. Like this is only like $300. Anything that you can come up with, you can do in virtual reality, augmented reality. If you're on Instagram, like you've probably used AR before, just like Instagram filters. It's like a layer, like a virtual layer over the real world. And this is all free. In VR, you can build out these virtual environments where you can do it all for free. And I think it's really cool for artists because you can, you can see like what your art would look like on a billboard or on like the side of a building and you can just like put it down into the real world. It's pretty crazy. These aren't NFTs. There's NFTs attached to them. Right now, it's still like in the arts, but there are a lot of practical uses. I can attach an NFT to this water bottle and I can sell it to you and transfer the NFT with it and it proves that you actually own this water bottle. But it's done on the blockchain, so it's like public record. Instead of like a social security number, you can have like a universal identity through this like one line of code, basically. Just like social media and the internet ha now has its cons, it also has its pros. Like, you can definitely find community in here. You can definitely like, make friends and it feels more real than just like talking to them over text because you can like it's like yo let's go watch a movie it's like oh you're all the way in australia it doesn't matter we can still like go into this place together 